Hey YouTube, it's your girl Empress Love back with another video. What's good, y'all? So before um I had turned on the camera, I was like hearing new love, new love. So we gonna put some energy on a new love and just see what's going on. So before we get some energy on a new love, let's we're gonna get an overall message. So what's the overall messages for my collective? Let's see what, what's going on. What do my collective need to see regarding this new love? Thank you. Okay, so you got happiness and humor. And the crazy shit is you see how both these cards is green. So somebody is definitely working out their heart shock, out their heart space. I feel like this connection is really going to be full of a lot of love, energy, um, abundance is what i'm hearing happiness it says i am aware that being happy means that i am on my right path humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of things okay i feel like you and this person is going to bring um a lot of happiness to each other's lives like you're going to add on to each other's happiness you guys could be like jokesters real funny um I'm hearing it's never going to be a dull moment when it comes to you guys. So let's get some messages and see. Yeah, you met your match. Whoever you dealing with or about to be dealing with, um, they are definitely um, the one to study a love language and see how you, um, love and like to be loved. I'm hearing, um, can you read my love language when I need love and affection? Can you read it when I need it? Who is that? Her? Is that her or LMA? Love language. Go check it out. So let's get some messages. What do we need to see about this new love? What do we need to see about this new love? Yeah, you have want to do whatever for you. So I feel like in this connection, this person is really going to be at your beck and hand, your beck and call. Whenever you need them, um, they are going to be there. It's like really nothing that you are going to want or need for that they won't be able to provide. You have loves your body the way it is. Okay, so whatever insecurities that you have um, over your body, this person is going to love it just the way it is. Whether you know you're on the slim side, the heavy side, whatever it is that you don't like about your body. Um, I'm hearing for some of you all, it could be feet or things of that nature. This person is going to love you perfect, um, imperfections and all. Yeah. So with this adventurous card here, I'm getting that you guys are going to, you know, go on a lot of ventures. I'm hearing a lot of weekend getaways. Um, and if you're not adventurous, I feel like this person is going to pull you out, out of your comfort zone. Yeah. You have gone put that work in on all levels. So... Yeah, with this one to do whatever for you and put that working on all levels, it's like this person is not finna play with you. It's like, you know, mentally, physically, financially, like they're going to be there um for you. Yeah, we are going to be everything you dreamed of. So this is a spirit baby message coming out. Um, that's letting me know that if you guys have been um, you know, wanting kids or you know, you could have kids, but if you want more kids or anything of that sort, you could be dreaming about them right now. Or you could be picturing, like, what it would be like to have a son or a daughter. Um, the, the, the babies that you're going to have with this person is going to be what you, what you both have dreamed of. Okay. So, you have love when you talk your shit. And they like your vibe. So... Yeah, if this person have you on social media, I don't know, I'm hearing they could watch you on YouTube or um, like I said, if you have Instagram or Facebook, if you the type, you know, to be real vocal and express yourself, 
um this person like that they like your vibe they like when you speak up for yourself they like um you know the topics of conversations that you do have i'm hearing like they want to talk to you on a more personal level and get to know um who you are as a person not who you are on social media not to say you're not the same person but it makes them intrigued um by you and they want to know more yeah they stuck on you they stuck on you it's like they it's just like your vibes your energy your aura is real like it's like it, it makes them want to get to know you more like i said on a, on a more personal scale yeah see so yeah, he don't have time for the games and then i see home cooked meals with love so this person could like home cooked meals you could be in the energy of um you know practicing cooking at home more but um or you could need to but <laughs> This person is like they don't have time for the games. They it's like they know what they want. Yeah, look, fantasizing about you and them together. It's like they know what they want when it comes to you and this connection. And I'm feeling like they not gonna let nothing um get in between that. They ain't gonna let nothing get in between that. Let me get some of these. Can you yeah, guidance. It says this, you are currently being guided. So I feel like this person is definitely getting the guidance to come towards you and bring some balance. I feel like a lot of balance is coming into your life and they are going to bring even more balance into your life. I feel like um, you, you guys are being guided towards each other. I feel like y'all both going to bring some sort of balance in each other's lives. Y'all going to have a lot of things to be thankful for. Yeah, that's crazy because these cards was like this, right? I hope y'all seen that, but that's confirmation. These cards was like this, right? And look what cards is in the reverse. Blockages and obsession. So it's like this new love, y'all not going to let nothing block y'all. People or places or things, you know, that was obsessed with you guys. Because I feel like y'all both have the energy of people who were obsessed, you know, with y'all. I feel like it's no more of that. It's no more of that. Y'all could be spending Thanksgiving this year together. But I feel like um, you transformed a lot. You and this person. And that's why this new love is coming in. I'm just hearing y'all going to be very happy. Can you read my love language? And I need love and affection. Can you read it? And I need it. So you got the seven of swords out here. What's the seven of swords for? It? I feel like that's that blockages and obsession in the reverse. Like, you know, y'all could have had past energies who were um, you know, trying to block this connection. But with this hierophant here and this ten of pentacles, I'm getting that. Um this 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 connection is definitely um heavily protected by the higher ups with this higher friend card here it's going to be wishes fulfilled but this ten of pentacles you're not going to have to worry about um blockages coming in to um create an imbalance in y'all situation yeah i see the three of pentacles y'all i mean the three not the three of pentacles Yes, it's like somebody is definitely going to try to collab and work up against this connection, but it's not going to work. They're going to fall short every time. Y'all see the three of cups. Y'all are going to have um, a lot of reasons to celebrate. This person could be the king of pentacles. I mean, the king of pentacles. Um, they could be the king of pentacles, but I see the king of cups, the star, and the seven of cups. Um, so, yeah, you could have a king of pentacles who wants to come in and try to um, fuck up this connection over some money. Like, But this new person that's coming in, they are really the king of cups. They could be the king of pentacles, too. You know, like, they definitely about their bag. But, yeah. This could be somebody who, you know, had a lot of options, but they, um, they see you. Yeah. With the death card, I could be talking to a Scorpio. I, I, I'm picking up the water energy with this, um, the cups and the king of cups and the death card. 
But I feel like you put it, they put in an end to all these options to start a new beginning with you. Yeah, they leaving a lot of people out in the cold. I'm hearing that this person, yeah, with this four of oh, Mars, look, in the chariot, I, and then you got the justice. This is the justice. I feel like somebody is, um, like, they they know that things um are going to be well stable. Look, I can't make it up because you got the, you got the, yeah, somebody is sad. This can cut the King of Pentacles definitely. Look, y'all, hold on. I'm sorry. Because, but I see the Queen of Swords. So, what I'm speaking of the truth, somebody, this King of Pentacles is in this Five of Cups energy because they they wanted to come towards you for, for, um, with this Page of Pentacles. It was like money based, okay? I feel like this King of Cups is like the person who, you know, who really got this love, feelings, and emotions for you. They trying to find a way to move towards you and, um, start this new beginning i feel like they had a lot of options with that seven of cups but it's like i'm hearing but it's you who i want but it's you who i want so it's like this person is is like they got options but they weren't true they they not they not finna take this couple of this offer to um nobody else yeah with this eight of wands Look, then you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Strength card here. Look, then you got the Five of Wands, the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords. Yeah, I feel like it was a lot of conflict um, when it came to y'all past. Like I said, this person could have been in the energy of having somebody who was only, um, like, they could have been in this Queen of Pentacles energy only focused on finances and not really the person with this King of um cups but i feel like i feel like you are this queen of swords queen of pentacles and this person is this king of cups king of pentacles you know what i'm saying y'all both had energies who's only around y'all or want to come back around y'all um for financial gain that's why that page of pentacles is in the reverse somebody could really be trying to trap somebody um to make sure that they like with a baby to make sure that they are financially stable when it comes to um of the relationship with this person but i feel like you and this person are um not like y'all not falling for the games it's like y'all already know who y'all want when it comes to each other so therefore it is not it's not gonna be no no more confusion i just keep in but it's you who i want that's a little dirt yeah so you got the page of swords the three of swords the six of wands the judgment and the nine of wands Hey. Hey. Yeah. So like I was saying, sorry y'all. With this page of swords and this three of swords, I feel like um yeah, somebody is watching you in a heartbreak. But with this four swords already coming out, it's like you healed from all of that. And now you in the six of wands energy. And that's why they really hurt. Because they are watching you be in the six of wands energy. It's like these people, this person is going through some sort of judgment with this nine of wands. It's like they know that they're getting left behind. Like you defending yourself. Um, You highly protected. You're not worried about, you know... It's like y'all both in the energy of focusing on me. Yeah. With this ten of wands. <laughs> Look. With the wheel of fortune and the, the three of cups. I'm telling you. It's like. It could have created a burden. It was a burden. But it's like now it done created a burden for this person. It's like everything that you was feeling. This person is now feeling with this wheel of fortune. 
It's like you definitely gonna have many reasons to celebrate this person. It could have put you in a lot of third party situations. I'm hearing that it's not gonna be none of that when it comes to this um new love. King of Swords, Page of Wands, the Devil, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Yeah. I could be speaking to a Capricorn, but I feel like somebody who is in this devilish energy is like they stuck now. It's like, like I said, they could have wanted to come offer you a cup of love with this King of Swords. They could have act like, um, you know, they was trying to bring in some truth and clarity around the situation because they know you in this Queen of Wands energy that you're going to speak your truth no matter what. And it's like they maybe want to try to come in and speak some sort of truth to you, but it's like, nah, they still in that devilish ass energy. And it's like, they want to keep you stuck. That's why that four of cups is here. I'm getting it's like they want to um come and bring an offer, but you're not you're not accepting it. Yeah, with this temperance and this five of cups, look, and then the knight of cups. Look, you got the Knight of Cups, the Sun, and then the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you call balance into your life. And it could have been, you know, sad. You could have felt a little bit lonely. But with this um, Five of Cups here, it's like, look, it's like she held us in one cup back there. So it's like you didn't give up on love. And I feel like that's why with this Knight of Pentacles, I mean, look, because the Knight of Pentacles was here. But with this Knight of Cups coming in, then the Sun and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this person, this new energy with this Knight of Cups is... I'm going to bring wishes fulfilled. It's going to bring the sun. But um, they move in slow because they know um, what this connection is going to be. And they know that it's going to end. Um, you know, I'm hearing in, in their marriage. And I cut the deck on the Ace of Swords. So that's just the truth. Yeah. That's just the truth of it all. Well, I can't make it up. You the Empress. Look, I'm telling you. Somebody is upset. Somebody is upset. Somebody in their head. But this this new connection coming in, yeah. For some of you all, you gonna y'all gonna um be having babies next year. <laughs> That's crazy. I seen the manifest card. So you could really be manifesting that. You could really want that. So let's get some final messages. Some overall messages. For the collective. Yeah, it's like whoever well, I'm speaking to, you definitely accepted what you couldn't change. You healed from it and you move forward. And that's why you have um this destiny connection coming in for you. I'm hearing, I don't wanna play no games, play no games. I can run, give you my last name. No, you tired of the same damn thing. That's okay, cause baby, you. Okay, speak actively. Be bold in your speech. Yes, it's like speak with confidence. Know what, is, know what you're talking about. And it's like when you want certain things, you have to speak as if you know that it's going to come towards you. You can't speak with doubt or, you know, with that, with that second thought in your mind. No, you got to speak like you know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, you know what it's going to be. Yeah, there will be balance. I call balance into my life in all aspects, and you give genuine love. So you got three cards speaking about balance. The first two cards out was guidance and balance. So just know that balance is coming into your life. I can't, I keep saying that the month of June, that's the sixth month, is going to be, speak. Look up the number six. The number six alone speaks speaks about balance. So just know that balance is definitely coming into your life. You've been calling in balance and it's here. And that's because you've always been the type to give to give genuine love. And now it's time for you to receive it. So that is the message that I have for you all. And until next time. <laughs>